Good morning, good morning, everybody. I don't know where this video is going. I don't know where it's going to take myself. I don't know where it's going to take us. Um, maybe it'll just be a rambling video, I suppose. Um, sitting here in the parking lot at work. Hold on for one moment. Make sure my lights are off. Um, like I said, I'm not, I wanted to make a video, but it's just one of those. I think it's going to be a bit of a rambling video. So if you want to listen to me ramble, listen. If not, go about your business, I suppose. Um, now I'm just sitting here in the parking lot at work. Waiting to clock in. Still have another 20 more minutes. I, uh... For those of you that know or did not know, whatever the case may be, I... On this uh, 18th, I had left work because I didn't feel good. Uh, by Sunday, I... Ended up testing positive for COVID, which I'm sure I had it on the 18th. Obviously, because I wasn't feeling good. I, uh... Just, I basically took like two weeks off of work, uh, the first week, I mean, just obviously because I was sick, couldn't work. The second week, my lungs weren't quite up to par still. Um, I believe I'm definitely past that point for the most part for now. I, uh... I've been on the treadmill. That took me off of the treadmill. <laughs> I did lose some weight, but not in the way that I wanted to lose weight. Um, but I am back to work. Uh, I've been one, two, be my third day back to work. And the first day, you know, it, for the most part, it was okay. Usually on Mondays, I actually clean. So I just, I go throughout the store, whatever needs to be clean, sweet, mop. Spot mop, clean the bottom shelves, dust, just whatever needs to be done that uh, may not get done on a daily basis. Uh, remove whatever tape off of the shelves, you know, things like that. Because people do not know how to remove signs carefully, you know, they just want to just rip the whole thing off at once. But, eh, job security, right? <laughs> Anyway, um, things have been good, and, you know, I'm still maintaining the bowl of fruit, but I'm letting the berries and things like that dwindle down because it's getting to the point now, and it's the time of the year that berries just aren't in season around here, at least as much. Um, however, I did find some strawberries from Florida. I mean, that's still local, still here in the States. Um, I found it kind of odd that I was finding berries all the way from, you know, the East Coast. But I wanted to give them a try. So, um, what I have with that and what I have left over still, uh, actually combining, I was combining those with, uh, some cranberries, some fresh cranberries, and still, you know, uh, like a handful of walnuts, just crushing those up a little bit and throwing them in the bowl, have my cup of coffee, uh, have my hot lemon water before then and everything, before I have my coffee. Um, I've even been uh, heating up my lemon water <clears throat> and then combining that with some oolong tea. Just uh, for that little extra pep in my step. Um, that honestly hasn't been too bad. I tried orange water. And I don't know. That just that didn't really, that didn't really appeal to me much. But uh, the lemon water, yeah, you know, it's, it's soothing. It's nourishing. Definitely nourishing. But, um, you know, overall, I feel fine. Uh, the wife, she's she's definitely doing good. Um, everybody in the house is doing good. Um, 
my mother-in-law's uh from when she had her knee surgery her knee is healing properly like it should she's doing good she's going to be starting therapy um i think tomorrow actually uh going somewhere and having uh going for therapy she was doing in-home therapy and they said that she's ready so she's doing good on that end um my son was lucky he never never uh contracted covid thank the lord um man definitely rambling <clears throat> december i don't know I really don't know what's in store for this month, but I know that I need to go to the Lord in prayer. I know that I need to inquire of Him um, daily, daily, you know. Ask Him to direct my steps, to uh, show me, even if it's only a little bit at a time, the path that He wants me to go down. Even if it's not all at once. I mean, I, I'm one of those. I need a trumpet. You know, something, not necessarily loud, but something to get my attention, you know. Sometimes I, I may tend to miss something because I, sometimes, you know, up here, I just, I don't shut up enough, you know. And, you know, I think that could be with anybody, too. You know, the reason why sometimes we may not hear from the Lord is just because we don't you know we don't I, I think we we don't know how to turn the phones off we don't know how to turn the TVs off we don't know how to turn the music off we don't know how to turn media social media we you know we don't know how to turn it off society <laughs> You know, just sit there and read the scriptures, pray, you know, or just sit there, have a cup of coffee, just think, you know, just think to yourselves. And, they, you know, that may scare a lot of people sitting there thinking because then that might lead, you know, that might make them feel insecure, you know, that may lead them to critiquing themselves. It may get loud here in a second. Uh, one of the truck drivers is, looks like he's getting ready to leave. Hopefully you guys can still hear me though. But what was I talking about? Oh, critiquing. You know, I do that quite a bit. I do that a lot. And you know, sometimes we could be our own worst enemies, you know. It's not necessarily somebody else that's critiquing us. You know, when we have moments where we're alone or critiquing can be a good thing you know from if we're critiquing ourselves I think it's completely wasted if we don't try to come up with a solution on how we can better our situation how we can better ourselves you know you may be in a certain situation and you just you need an ex you need an <coughs> you need an exit strategy right um you know the thing that i'm learning especially as i've gotten older versus in my 20s is that cuz i was working at a job back in my uh mid 20s i should have still probably known better like i said that's me critiquing myself but i should have I should have made plans and had an exit strategy instead of just walking off the job because that's what I did I walked off the job to this day should I say I regret it to some extent yes you know I don't really know how to answer that right now. And I guess that's okay to say I don't know how to answer it. I mean, back then, yeah, I did regret it. Totally. I regretted it in the way of 
you know, that wasn't showing my employer respect, you know. I, uh, was just, oh, I finally had it, walked off the job in the middle of my shift, in the middle of my shift, and, you know, for, uh, one or two years after that, I just, I didn't know what to put on my application. I did not know what to tell the people that were interviewing me. It's like, well, should I just make something up, you know? But now I feel like definitely wiser, no better for sure now. I, you know, a real man won't walk off the job. He'll keep his composure. Not to say he's not going to stand up for what he believes is right, but... I think the sign of maturity of a man is when he can contain his composure. He can critique himself now, but it's not going to be wasted if he has solutions to those problems or tries to find solutions to those problems. Asking for help doesn't mean you're weak. But I truly believe that if we're going to critique ourselves, let it not be in vain. Definitely, don't let it be in vain. Critique yourself and figure out how you can do things better. What you could do to make certain situations in your life better. And you don't sit there and play the blame game with anybody. That, that's such a cop-out, playing the blame game. Blaming a certain group of people or a certain political group for either your own folly or for the situation you are currently in. That's such a cop-out. That's weak. But what you need to do is put your boots on or whatever have you, you know. Put your foot forward, you know, make plans, jot things down. And like I said, like I say in a lot of my videos... I don't just make videos for, this isn't just for you, this is also for me, you know, this is to keep me on the right track, on the right path, and, you know, a lot of times I'll go back and I'll re-watch my videos, you know, just to keep track of what I say, of course, but, I believe... And sometimes I can be my own worst enemy when I sit there and I'm alone with my thoughts and I critique myself. And, you know, I've had times to where I'm like, oh, man, I'm no good at this. I'm no good at that. But what if, but what if, but what if, you know, that's like the worst thing that you can possibly do is critique yourself and put yourself down and especially if you have kids, don't ever put yourself down in front of your kids. You know, don't have a chip on your shoulder or anything like that either. Um, teach them about confidence. You know, but at the same time, you know, you don't want your kids, you know, them putting themselves down. Uh, that hurts, you know. I don't like seeing that. I don't like seeing my own son put himself down thinking that he's no good or that he's never going to measure up or anything like that, you know. And I know there's people out there that put other people down, and those are jerks, you know. I uh, I don't like jerks. Um, but I definitely believe that we, if we're going to critique ourselves, we need to come up with solutions Otherwise, it's just, it's a waste. So, all right, guys. Uh, I'm still a few minutes out for having to clock in. I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. How you guys doing? Respond, respond, please respond. <laughs> hopefully, you guys are doing okay. And uh, hopefully, the holidays have been good for you guys so far. But uh, All right, guys. 
Take care.